Hey, this is Van Nuri, and you're listening to a Fluey Finding Frequency. That's nothing new, right? I've, I've been reporting back about my little man flues for, I think the frequency, well, pardon the pun, of this happening to me is uh, becoming more and more. And uh, this weekend was a kind of the same old story. It was a rerun. Me lying on the couch, feeling very sorry for myself, and my wife just shaking her head going, there he goes again, the man flu. So I'm still working through it, very sinusy. I don't know if it's a new variant. I am South African. Ooh, that's not a good joke to make. But yeah, so uh, yeah, what's going on in the world? I don't know. I've been sleeping. But uh, interesting things nonetheless continue to happen, even if I'm sleeping and uh, hiding away. But uh, as a quick uh, roundup, we did have some fun this weekend. Marta and I went to our favorite little Thai restaurant. And once again, probably as mentioned as many times as I've mentioned that I'm sick, Thai and we spent a fair amount of time there enjoying some tasty food. And uh, it's always good to take Marta there because I can see in her face how she enjoys it. So uh, time well spent, indeed. And then uh, as for the rest of the weekend, once again, time well spent. It's not a lot that we sit at home. I think I might have mentioned how my wife insists on being busy all the time. And uh, I don't know if it was my influence, but this weekend, um, actually, I know exactly what the influence was, but I'll get to that. We spent a fair amount of time at home. Um, I was ironing clothes. Yes, believe it or not. Um, Francie was kind of hanging out. He went off to visit a friend for a little bit. And Marta was kind of sorting out, you know, all odds and ends. We were doing like a bit of a winter cleaning in our little apartment. But the main driver behind this is that we had to kind of readjust and set up Marta's home office again because now she's officially a remote worker. She has received two gigantic monitors and a fancy laptop. And uh, as I'm speaking now, she's sitting on the other side of this wall um, in a workshop full on. Um, I've, I kind of, I don't know if it's empathy or whatever, but I'm kind of nervous for her, kind of this new adventure. But it, it, as I'm listening, because we can hear each other talking from time to time, it's not com- completely uh, isolated in this little thin walled building of ours. I can hear, I can actually feel that the people in her co- new company is very positive and friendly. And of course, there's this ongoing pressure and I feel it like you want to add value. You want to slot into this new team. You want to make a difference, but it's very difficult to do that, especially when you start a new, uh, a new job and you you need to get to know people and damn it, um, going from a small consultancy or relatively small into a big gigantic corporation with all its systems and uh, policies, all kinds of things is kind of unsettling. And takes time to get used to. So making impact from day one is a challenge for anybody. And uh, I think she's doing really well. But I can feel in our household, we are kind of feeling this kind of tension. It's no, not a negative tension, but like, a, you know, the newness, the uncertainty of where we're we going with, with this new adventure and what it's going to mean in a couple of months' time. And, and as you know, you can never kind of judge what's going to happen next because the last two years has kind of shown us that nothing will ever go as you expect it but it doesn't mean it's going to be negative not at all it's just going to be different so uh, let's see how different things are going to be in a couple of months time but yeah so for me I'm taking it easier especially today I had a good meeting in the morning and then have a meeting a bit later on to wrap up some more work as I head toward the middle of December where um, a lot of my clients are kind of shutting down business to, to enjoy the festive season, which I'm really grateful for um, the slowing down of things, which is, uh, yeah, it's kind of a blessing in disguise or kind of a double-edged sword because for an entrepreneur, it means you're not going to get any income. But then again, you need time because as my dad pointed out to me, that I really, I'm working for an asshole. I'm working for myself and my own boss. He can be terrible at times. But then, uh, yeah, there is this benefit, right? So, yeah, 
looking forward to a week of uh, hopefully um, wrapping things up, clearing out the old inbox. I have a few tasks. I still have a video to do. I want to get one video done before the end of the end of the year, and I think I'll probably film next week, um, starting the planning this week. And then, uh, yeah, call it quits for the content creation for the year. Not saying that I'm going to not do it next year. Oh, definitely. I've got some some tools and things piling up um, that I want to showcase. So, um, yeah, I'm still enjoying doing that. And then, um, yeah, a little bit of a report on what's going on in Warsaw. We are definitely now solidly in winter. Um, don't worry, not meters and meters of snow. I'm not snowed in, but definitely... Um, colder and the snow is around it's sticking around we had a flurry or two over the weekend and when you walk out you can see snow in the cars and um, it's definitely cold and slippery so I made a mistake to slip into my van skating shoes on the way to the store earlier to pick up some fruits and slipped around a little bit and uh, um, yeah it's definitely time for the winter shoes to to come out but that being said uh, keep warm on that side and uh, let me wrap this up thanks for listening